A massive demonstration in Mexico City. The discontent is directed toward Mexican President Andrés Manuel López Obrador's recent overhaul of the country's independent electoral authority, or INE. We are here to defend the INE so that it's not modified. They want us to return to the days when the electoral system was controlled by the government. We do not want the INE to be cancelled or modified. We want it to continue so there can be democratic progress in Mexico. Last week, Congress approved a set of sweeping reforms to the INE. Critics say these changes severely cut the agency's budget and also limit its autonomy, restricting the INE's ability to hold political candidates who break electoral laws accountable. Political experts say that these reforms to the National Electoral Institute represent an erosion of democracy in Mexico, arguing that it was this electoral body that helped to end decades of single-party rule in Mexico and helped to usher in a new era of democracy for the country in the 21st century. For his part, President López Obrador insists the reforms to the INE are aimed at cutting costs and increasing transparency. He's also accused the agency of being corrupt and favoring his political opponents. El INE de México. The INE is one of the costless electoral organizations in the world, and also one of the most anti-democratic. Though national elections in Mexico are still a year away and Mexican presidents are only allowed to serve a single six-year term, activists say future elections in the country now run the risk of being marred by distrust and corruption, as they were in the years before the creation of the National Electoral Institute. Manuel Rapalo, Al Jazeera, Mexico City.